Hello artists. Getting right into this. Uh, this is my Frederick's inexpensive panels. They're acrylic primed. Um, this is what I practice on a good bit of the time. I've also sold paintings on it, so it's, it's inexpensive, but it's great. In this instance, I used the Liquitex uh, white, blue, ultramarine blue, and raw umber to mix together to tone my panels for our workshop. So this is mostly white, some blue, and some umber. And you really need more umber than blue because blue is um, much more chromatic than the raw umber. It, it has a very quiet voice. But you see me mix that paint. You can see it's not even mixed thoroughly. It doesn't really matter uh, as long as it looks gray. Now I'm adding a just a drop or two of water to loosen it up a bit so that my brush will flow uh, more quickly on the canvas. Kind of like when I'm when I'm really painting and I want that brush to to you know go a long way <laughs> and spread easily. So and that's all you do. You're just covering it up. So this acrylic foundation with using acrylic paint is quick, it's easy, and the best part about it in my mind is that it dries so quickly. And literally in oh five to ten minutes this will be completely dry. Not just dry to the touch but through and through. And that's what I want you to arrive with for our portrait workshop. I want, um, you know, I, I don't want you to tone with oil the morning of because you're not going to be able to be equipped with what I want you to be doing while we're together. Okay, here I'm just showing you the value differences there that you see on my panel. Now, here's another one. This is and this is the traditional way of toning a canvas. Um, the blue, ultramarine blue and raw umber mixed together just makes a beautiful, quiet background gray tone that uh, works well with portraiture. So right away I'm thinking hmm this is looking a little bit too blue um, but you know I would I didn't have to add more umber at all because it's still a pretty color it's not bright blue it's still a gray but I just kind of like to um, kind of come up with a gray that doesn't have something that's leaning too blue or too brown, if, if that makes sense. A nice quiet color that's sort of in the middle of the two colors. And there you see it looks sort of a messy. Now I could do a portrait on top of that and I think it would be really cool. But I think for you all it would be good to um, to just wipe off some of that. Plus it'll dry more quickly the more you wipe it back the thinner it will be. And yet, and yet, oil paint, it takes forever to really dry. So these panels that I did yesterday uh, in oil, in the traditional method, it'll take at least three or four days. I would think I would want to do this a week ahead of time if you're going to tone your panels in this fashion with oil paint. And there I just flipped it over so that I could get smooth out those marks that were behind the prongs that are holding my canvas up. So I'm happy with that. And then here is just the Cantone loose canvases. Uh, they're also acrylic primed, but I'm going to show you again just the way that I tone in oil with oil paint in the traditional method. And this time I'm putting my paints on my palette if you're more comfortable doing that. Um, give it a mix 
and you can kind of see it's so dark. It, it makes a beautiful black, honestly, these two colors mixed together. But I can tell it's too blue, so I'm adding more umber. Thinning it with the Gamsol. And doing the same thing. You just saw me do it, but doing it again on the loose canvas. Um, and really like anything with oil painting, it this even this takes a little bit of practice. I can remember struggling so much because I... I wouldn't, when I was younger, I wouldn't add enough um, Gamsol. Back then it was Terpenoid I used. But, um, you know, I didn't add enough. And man, I just scrubbed and scrubbed to get it wiped back and wiped back. <laughs> but anyway, and, and if you're not used to this, you could go through that angst as well. But um, I'm hoping that this will help you. And then... Um, to me, you know, it really is important to arrive to a workshop feeling like you've got what the artist wants you to have so that you're not surprised by anything. Um, I don't want you to feel off balance when you come. I want you to feel confident. So there's the last panel that's the third and I'm bring I'm pulling up the others just to kind of show you they're not all the same that's the acrylic tone that you saw me do and it's dry it's already dry which is great and then you see there's a little bit of difference in value with those it looks too big there so I go ahead and put them on the floor and and show them to you. Now this is the Frederick's Cantone canvas pad and you can see that blue gray um, color that it comes in. I ordered these online so I'm sure you could find this. They're great and then you won't even have to tone if you don't want to. Those, that's what we just did. So you can see they're all different. They're all gorgeous. I'm very excited. Can't wait to paint on them. And I hope you arrive with something like this to the workshop. Can't wait. See you soon. Bye-bye.